Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to post up a quick uh, feature video of the Note 4 running the official Lollipop TouchWiz ROM, which Samsung's just released. Uh, you can download this actually from Sam Firmware. You will need to sign up for an account, obviously. Uh, and it is stated for the SM. N910F variant of the Note 4 which uh, is what I've got here uh, and uh, been having a play with it and uh, you know really getting uh, accustomed back to the excellent uh, features that the Note 4 gives you uh, that were lost on the CM12 ROM which is very stock obviously uh, and I uh, have to say uh, very uh, enjoying the overall experience on the ROM uh, as you can see uh, looking uh, at the uh, nice wheel which has come back again uh, it doesn't seem to be too different when it comes to the actual uh, UI when it comes to like these features uh, but uh, it does seem to be uh, very solid nevertheless still and uh, probably going to have to do some practice with this again because I've not really been using it too much on the CM12 ROM uh, but uh, we can uh, get out of this now and uh, swipe to the right and you have your flip board obviously uh, which uh, I have to say is growing on me a little bit it does keep you quite informed into what uh, you know is going on in the world however it might be subject to a call for the Galaxy S6 along with a lot of these uh, particular apps such as S Health uh, and they may be you know resigned to the Galaxy apps area so probably would start looking for kind of alternative apps for these kind of things but in, in terms of the actual uh, Lollipop uh, ROM uh, you get your familiar drop down area Although obviously it is a little bit different in that there's no uh, kind of multi-user area. Uh, and I've looked in the settings, it doesn't seem to be on the device yet. Uh, which uh, I guess it's not a huge di issue really. Uh, but it would, like, would be nice to see that uh, eventually uh, in the future. And uh, you do obviously get uh, your quick... Uh, icons uh, which you're quite familiar with when it comes to TouchWiz and then you can add a few more to your heart's content which is quite nice uh, the dialer looks a little bit different uh, as you can see uh, you're getting a very nice clean interface now and uh, you can see uh, basically you can make a test call here see what it looks like Using gift gaff. Nice one. Remember to record a greeting so your callers know it's you. Before you start using your mailbox, you can see it comes you up here. Pin to keep it safe. Your pin needs to be between four and ten digits long. Please enter your new four to ten digit pin code followed by the hash. No, I'm alright, thanks. So I do like the way they give you balance after calling them, but uh uh, in terms of the uh, contacts, again, it's uh, very uh, lollipop and uh, quite nice indeed. Uh, if we go into the settings, uh, look at some of the uh, settings, we can see if there's any real changes. Uh, I think that uh, the focus here was uh, more uh, just... Uh, evolution rather than revolution can't really see too much in the way of uh, big changes you get all your air, air command uh, air view etc which is quite cool and uh, so we can go into about device you can see here it's on 5.0.1 so not 5.0.2 uh, but uh, you know I'm not complaining really uh, it's worthwhile mentioning that uh, I didn't uh, 
get this particular wallpaper I have put it on myself uh, you do get like these stock uh, wallpapers that you used to with the note 4 so can just uh, show you it's this one basically and uh, very nice clean wallpaper but uh, I do prefer my material ones and I was quite happy to see that uh, it kept all of my previous apps on so I didn't have to reinstall them all over again uh, it was, uh, they were all like there when I started it up so it's not going to be a traumatic experience for your Note 4 and uh, can have a look at some of the apps just to see if there's any differences with them notably the music player you can see uh, you got your nice uh, blue kind of theme here uh, which uh, obviously is very immersive and uh, should put on a track so go to the settings and sound alive so you get your same kind of cube interface which is quite uh, interesting for your equalizer settings as well as these settings down here and uh, one thing I do like about Samsung is that they allow you to change the tempo of your tunes when you want to just chill out it's quite nice and uh, so doesn't seem to be too much in the way of different uh, kind of options here but very clean nevertheless and uh, you know I think that uh, if you have uh, this particular model SMN910F uh, there's no reason whatsoever why you shouldn't uh, flash this on you know WhatsApp as well that's working uh, and some that has issues now and again with uh, like custom ROMs and uh, really nice uh, you know getting all of the TouchWiz uh, benefits back again which uh, as you can see nice uh, multitasking here and really did miss these kind of things before so uh, yeah you know gonna wrap it up about now I think uh, I think uh, I've covered pretty much everything that I've found so far but if I have if I do find something else then I will obviously update uh, I think uh, it's worthwhile having a quick check in here before I go can see uh, if there's any differences I do like the way Samsung have been really cleaning this up uh, as you can see there's only one kind of grid now but before you could scroll down and down and down to millions of settings but uh, much cleaner and uh, should charge my device I think uh, flashing it on probably drained it a little bit and uh, you can see you, you've got your 4K still, which is quite cool. And that's uh, working very nice indeed. There was some, I think that's a new sound actually. Can't remember. Oh, can't remember hearing that sound before. That's cool. That is cool. And then you've got your camera, obviously is quite nice and uh, also he's still not brought back beauty face so a bit disappointed about that I do like my beauty face it's kind of an institution with Korean devices so yeah you know uh, I think uh, this pretty much completes the device right now I think Samsung is on top of its game when it comes to the phablet category uh, it was my only real niggle with the device it shipped with KitKat when we had Lollipop available but now it's a boss phone and uh, you know really love this device 
particularly in white, I think that uh, it certainly uh, you know satisfies me, and I uh, really do enjoy it. So yeah, quick little video here. I uh, hope you found it informative. I would recommend you flash it on if you do have this particular model. Uh, it is available now, and you can use Odin just to get it on. So uh, yeah, uh, have a great day. Cheers.